It's the final stock market review of the year. Let's do this thing, as they say. Okay, welcome to a very good year. Now, that's price to forward earnings. And the only thing, it's a measure of valuation. And the only thing which looks cheap are some of the energy companies and banks still, and I'll come to banks. Telecoms is now looking interesting as well. Remember with all of this, if you're on my great investments program, you'll know this. I go through 10,000 stocks and look at the fundamentals, not just the charts, which I'm about to show you. What a week. Well, look at that. AMD up 9%, Broadcom up strongly, Nvidia, Intel, Qualcomm uh, as well. Uh, Micron. So we're going to come to some of these in a second. It's been a lot of green, except energy. And that's the one. Energy was the one which was undervalued. And that's the one which hasn't risen. So we'll take care of that. Uh, for the ETFs, keep an eye out on my Telegram, TikTok, YouTube, all the rest of it. Because what I've done is a series of videos, which I'm going to post in the next few days, where I dive deeper into the ETFs behind, say, basic materials or something which has risen a lot in the past month and then I look at the individual stocks within there and how they've performed and see if there's any which are interesting as a special situation so do keep an eye out for that so that's how your year has gone I hope uh, this is exactly what's happened 55% uh, up on the Nasdaq up 25% on uh, the S&P and the Dow was up 13. I hope your pension's done as well. I got a wonderful, wonderful message. I've got to share this on LinkedIn. I'm going to come through more stocks in a second. Wonderful message on LinkedIn uh, from uh, uh, Chris Page. There we go. There's Chris Page. Basically, he's up 50% on the uh, thanks to uh, what I've been teaching. All right, and he's written that up and I've posted it on LinkedIn so you can see it over there. I am really over the moon uh, with that and I hope there's many more of you who have done that. Now, some will do more, some will do less because they might not want to take the kind of risk that NASDAQ implies. They might want to do closer to uh, the S&P 500 and they might have only added 25% year this year. Uh, these are top 10 S&P stocks over the past month. I'm just showing out out of interest. None of these are particularly of interest to me. I'm just showing the momentum that's out there. And similarly with the FTSE 350, that's more out of interest. What is more interesting is this. Let's zoom into the S&P 500. And what you can see over there is the MACD is moving sideways, the monthly momentum. Now, remember, I don't just look at this. I don't look at it the way the textbooks do. Okay. But... If it is moving up, that's positive. Amber warning if it's sideways. Double amber warning if it's falling. And red flag if it's falling beneath its own moving average as it was there. And you can see how the price then just falls. Uh, and if it's moving downwards, that's a warning to get out. If it's going sideways, it's an initial warning. So what we see here is no particular warning. It's going sideways, slight amber. Okay. With this... Maybe it'll do this in the new year. Let's see. Uh, with the FTSE, by the way, if you are a UK pensioner, uh, don't be surprised if your pension hasn't gone anywhere in the last five years because I'm afraid your fund manager is probably tracking the FTSE 100. Uh, whereas I'm afraid I quite like my 50% gains and I'll come to the gains we've had this year in a moment. Well, actually, I'm going to do it on a separate video. The gains we've had on a, uh, this year. Apple, the Apple strategy, well, that's still sideways. Now, slight worry it could drop off because that's what's called a bearish divergence where the market makes a higher high and the indicator doesn't. Uh, and so we could get a fall off, could. No action needed at the moment. So is it buy, hold or sell? Well, I continue holding, but if you put a gun to my head, yeah, okay, I'll buy. Uh, but holding is the easy thing at the moment. So that's the Apple strategy, what we're gonna call, and we are aware of the fact that that could go lower. I'm not seeing it, well, no action needed at the moment. Alphabet, similarly, no action needed. In other words, I continue holding and same Apple strategy, applies to that. Apple strategy applies to this. Not particularly worried. It should hopefully do that, but we'll keep an eye on it every Wednesday and Friday in these updates in case it drops. No action needed. Okay. Uh, uh, this, more positive, more positive. Uh, do like it. I'm expecting this to do this in 2024. Of course, if everything did uh, what I say and draw lines on on charts, then I'd be laughing, wouldn't I? I'd be the happiest person 
on the planet, but they don't tend to do that, right? So that's where we are with that one. Now, Disney is a special situation. It's gone up, it's gone down. It just goes to show, unlike technology, these things don't necessarily go up, but that's the expectation there. Uh, so that's Disney, NVIDIA. Now the NVIDIA strategy, as you know, if it drops X percent, e.g. 10%, if you're risk averse, you might sell 50%. If you're risk loving, you won't. If it drops 25%, you might sell 100%. Okay, so you decide that based upon your risk appetite. Now as things stand, it is overbought. It could do this. I've said it for a while, but there's no action needed immediately at the moment. None needed immediately at the moment. But we do look at this on Wednesdays and Fridays because it's our pension and we want to get those 50% gains. Uh, Tesla may well become a special situation in January with that kind of a resumption upwards. Uh, but at the moment, I'm not calling it. I'm just showing it to you for now. Uh, Meta has done wonderfully well and you'd have the Nvidia strategy for this for fear it might do this as it's done in the past. Because when it's made these gains like snakes and ladders if you've climbed all the way up there you do not want your bloody IFA or fund manager dragging you all the way down here all the way back and causing you to lose five years in your pension that's why I do Wednesday and Friday broadcasts and at the moment no action is needed but I'll keep an eye on it that's why this year we were able to grab whatever that is a 200 odd percent gain and last year we avoided an 80 percent drop whereas other funds got zero percent because they dropped and they rose they ended up nowhere in snakes and ladders, which is what the stock market is. ServiceNow, no action needed, but we are mindful. It could get a little bit of a pullback as it's done before, but we won't panic and we expect that, but we keep an eye on things. Okay, similarly with Cisco, uh, it's been going up for a few weeks, so that's fine. No action needed uh, on that one. Netflix, as I've mentioned before, not one I own, but because it's popular, I show it should do something like that. So for the moment, nothing. If you want to do an NVIDIA strategy, be my guess. If it drops 10%, sell 50%. If it drops 25%, sell uh, 100% and so on. But at the moment, no action is needed. That's all. Okay. So what do I say to you? I say to you, Happy New Year. And I say to you, have a look at arpishpatel.com forward slash links as well. And I also say to you, uh, that, okay, I will show you the performance of the year and what we've done uh, so far. Do you want a sneak peek? Do you want a sneak peek of how we did it this year? Okay, I don't mean to tease you too long on this, but I'm pulling it up on another screen. Here it is. Right, this is what you're going to see, and I'm going to blow it up on the screen. I did this in a webinar earlier today. Um, so if you get ready, here it is. Du, du, du. Okay, now share the screen. Here we go. Now, remember, this is our performance this year in 2023. How did we do? I've got to give you some disclaimers. First of all, this is not financial advice. The market was up 25% on the S&P. I can't take credit for that. It was up 55% on NASDAQ, so I can't take credit for that. Okay, the following is US stocks. I do do uh, on my approved filtered list have uh, London Stock Exchange and European stocks, but I buy US, as you know, if you watch me, I u only buy US. This is from our January further filtered final list and rising MACD and quality five. You know what they are if you're watching my telegram each week and special situations in the first week of January. So this doesn't include, because it's January, it doesn't include the stocks that I picked later in the year, like Costco, Intel, Adobe, which did incredibly well. Okay, it doesn't include any overweight holdings where maybe I put more money in one company over another. So I'm treating everything the same of what we selected from there and it doesn't include the leverage that we did on some it doesn't include that in the results this was not a typical year uh, much of 2022 for instance was in cash does not mean any of the ones I'm about to show you I'll be holding into 2024 that's how we did okay those are the names and that's how we did on those now it doesn't mean from February to February we might be the same or March to March it might be lower all right but that's what happened now interesting here is tapestry was down 1.68% Oh, wait, wait a minute, Alpush, how can you use the same overall process and yet have a difference, such a big difference? Well, because if it was a science, we'd only pick one stock. We would have picked just NVIDIA, but it isn't. And I wish I had only just picked one, but we hadn't. So it's got our quality five, further filtered final and MACD rising ones and any special situations from January. That's what you're left with. We might do February to February uh, as well. And a lot of these are obvious names. As they said in the series Billions, what? They pay you the big bucks to pick names anybody could have done. Yeah, I'm afraid some years they do, not every year. I don't know what Sterling Infrastructure is uh, or MedPace, but there you go. So that's the fuller, um, that, uh, uh, there you can see MedPace, okay? Uh, 
I hope you like that. I hope you found it interesting. alpishpatel.com forward slash links. Like and follow for more. I will see you in 2024. That rhymes. Like and follow for more. I will see you in 2024. Gotta have a bit of fun, especially with a year like that.